what's going on guys how's everyone doing today I'm doing well thank you for asking today guys we have another brand new awesome movie review that's right a movie review guys and if you know me as usual I'm not gonna remember these things that I want to say I'm not gonna remember details so guess what I have my handy dandy trusty notebook anyway I'm gonna be reading from here I'm gonna try to not be so awkward I'm gonna try and do this somewhat professionally and have a good time doing it because movie reviews should not be taken quite so seriously we should have fun with these because movies are supposed to be fun and entertaining so let's not be too serious guys Yes, I cut my hair and trimmed my beard up a little bit yesterday. Feeling sexy. Just a little bit sexy. Not really. Alright, guys. What is our movie that we are going to review today? It is The Hangover. Picture somewhere over there. The Hangover from 2009. That's right, guys. 2009 it's that old here we go we're gonna go through the stars of the show the main cast the main cast here we go we have Bradley Cooper he plays Phil we have Ed Helms he plays Stu we have Zach Galifianakis he plays Alan and we have Justin Bartha. He plays Doug. Here we go, guys. Let's go over the story. Story. A group of friends take off for Las Vegas for a bachelor party they will never forget. Or do they? And get caught up in more than gambling. Simple. What could go wrong, right? let's just keep going here I'm gonna try not to give any spoilers of course reviews and thoughts and opinions on movies and TV shows and all that kind of stuff it's kind of hard to do without giving a little something away here and there but the movie came out in 2009 I'm sure you might have seen it I'm sure you've seen the trailers that nine times out of ten give away the whole plot anyway so let's carry on I don't see many movies that come out and really set limits these days this movie has everything in spades. Get it? Spades. Las Vegas. Gambling. Adventure. Fun. Excitement. Action. Danger. Cameos. Shock. Adult humor. Adversity. Love. And it's all to be taken lightly and made for enjoyment and laughter. Nothing super serious here. There's a lot going on, but it's made for comedy perfect uh, purposes which is good I like that you got all this crammed in there and probably a little bit more that's what she said <laughs> here we go each character brings their own story and characteristics and personality let's go over a few of those shall we Bradley Cooper plays Phil a high school teacher playboy wild man a little bit like myself not really Ed Helms plays Stu a yes man kind of guy to his girlfriend that plays life safe and scared that's kind of me not really nah. right. Zach Galifianakis plays Alan a slightly off in the head no real common sense party animal I think he's been hitting the head one too many times with a frying pan. Not sure. Justin Bartha plays Doug, a former party guy, frat guy who has changed to the straight and narrow one woman man, possibly about to get married. Possibly. So here we go. Let's dig a little deeper, guys. 
what starts out as a good, fun, wonderful, fun night turns in to a night they can't really remember. Literally. Here we go. Slight spoiler. Not really, but kind of, sort of, maybe. Don't worry about it. The movie's over 10 years old. You'll be okay. They end up drugged and go on adventures over the next few hours that lead them getting chased by a crazy Asian guy, Mr. Chow, played by Ken Jong, beat up by Mike Tyson, finding a baby in a cupboard in their hotel room, along with a tiger, arrested, and a ton of more things. And I'm going to throw out a special uh, shout out, whatever, to uh, Ken Jong. He plays Mr. Chow. He does that character pretty amazing. Uh, really goes all in and I think gives us um, gives us a character uh, that's hilarious and tries to be super serious all at the same time and uh, I think he does a real good job is he the is he the show stealer here you know I don't know all the guys do a great job at their parts in this movie it's like they really are these guys you know and uh, they just told them to go so I don't know if any one person completely stands out but uh, Kim Jong does a really excellent job at, at uh, his part so I like that this movie really has it all acting is all great and all the main cast truly come off as friends. They really do. It's like they couldn't have cast, I don't think, better people. And I don't think that these people could have, that anyone else really could have done any better at portraying these characters and uh, getting this story across. Because it really did just comes off as truly natural and, and no... Uh, there's no, it's like there's no acting or no struggle to make it happen. Uh, the location is probably 98% Las Vegas, and I'm blown away by how they were able to film so much there with all the people, the traffic, etc. Um, a little history on myself, I did vacation there two times, uh, once in 2006 and once in 2011. Uh, and then we moved, packed up and moved there. In the summer of 2012 and moved back here on our hometown in 2014 uh, so seeing the buildings and the roads and signs and, and different things that I'm familiar with in that area was, is pretty cool to watch and uh, also another little cool thing is while we were there uh, we actually seen them filming the hangover part 3 um, I can't remember what scene it was, but I believe it was something with a parachute or something gliding down or, or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but we were there seeing that and they had it all blocked off and all kind of stuff. And you and, and we seen the guy, I think he was parachuting down, but uh, that was pretty cool to see. Let's continue. There is raunchy adult humor, nudity, but I like it. It's different. And something you don't see often anymore. I like those kind of movies that just give you a little bit of a twist and a little bit of that over the normal rating. So, anyway. Uh, the story, the characters, the comedy, it's all there. Guys, there's not a whole lot more that I can say about The Hangover. Other than if you haven't seen it by now, you need to go see it. Uh, it really is funny. Is it a guy movie? Yeah, it's a guy movie. Uh, do some women like it? Girls, women, females? Yes, some of them do, and those are the keepers. Those are those are the females that you want in your life, because they recognize that not everything has to be the notebook, right? So, guys, I'm wrapping up this. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the movie. I'm gonna give it a solid five out of five. Why? Because of everything I just told you about. 
for that genre movie for what it brought and everything about it from top to bottom inside and out that movie's perfection it's just great uh, i don't think you could ask for anything better i don't think it could have been done any better yeah there's some far-fetched things in there and you're like that nah, wouldn't happen nah that's a movie okay that happens five out of five i stand by it leave your comments your thoughts on the movie uh, tell me if you've seen part one, two, and three, all that good stuff. I've seen them all. In my opinion, you only need the first movie. The other two are, eh, don't really need them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. I enjoyed doing it. Go check out all my other videos. I have playlists that give you easy access to some of the stuff, and some of the other things are just random off in there in the video selection. Go in there and check it all out. I have almost 500 videos. Something for everyone, all right? Don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, even in a virus-infested, apocalyptic, crazed state that we're in right now. But we can stay in, watch some movies, and do some reviews. We'll see y'all later. Then go watch that movie.